let's get into the video. Why do I get so many comments of new CNAs being scared to work in a hospital? Not only are they scared to work in a hospital, they feel that hospitals will not hire them. I will be honest with y'all. The only state that I've seen that does not hire CNAs fresh out, brand new, out the womb, is um California. California don't play. I don't know what it is. No clue. They got to figure that out. I'm not sure. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Zed back at it again with another video. And today I have a valuable, valuable, valuable message for y'all. OK, so get close. Listen up. Turn the volume up. Take a seat. Take a chill pill and hear me out. Once you enter your CNA program and you finish your CNA program, you sit for the boards and you sit for your skills exam and you enter the registry as a certified nursing assistant, you need to know all of the options that you have once you finish. Unedited video, unedited video. So you know when it's unedited, we giving facts. I'm keeping it real. I'm not spending a bunch of hours editing and y'all gonna give it, it fresh and funky. Just real deal advice because I get this comment so much. Hey, I got my CNA. Um, I'm not sure if a hospital will hire me. I don't even know the first step to get hired in a hospital. I should probably just go to a nursing home or a long-term care facility. And that's the wrong mindset to have. If you want to work in a long-term long -term care or a SNF, then do that. If you want to work in a hospital, then do that. But you are not obligated to go into a nursing home just because you feel like you're not going to get accepted at a hospital. I do understand everybody's situation is different. I do understand in some cities you have options for hospitals and in some you have one. Either way, all of them need your help. See this finger? I'm pointing it at you. All of them need your help. Um, the first way to get into the hospital is to first reach out to a recruiter for the hospital. I get that comment so much. Why do I have to tell y'all the first step to, like I understand I might be knowledgeable and I have been doing this and giving advice for CNAs for years, but the simple fact of the matter is y'all gotta do some legwork on your own. Apply to these jobs, see what's out there. When you speak to the recruiter about one unit, ask about all the units. Sometimes you have to get into the hospital to get on the unit that you want. Um, but if you're in a bigger city, you should have no problem getting into these hospitals. Um, hospitals don't hire in California. If you're in the state of California, I don't know what to tell you. I've been personally trying to help people in California get hired after they receive their CNA. And to no avail, to no luck, they very much struggled. Very much struggled. I'm not sure where they're at now, but they very much struggled. Um, in the state of North Carolina where I am, that's not really an issue. Not an issue at all. The entire East Coast, I haven't heard that being an issue. Maybe Washington State or um, California is the only really states that I see this issue with. But you can work in a hospital as a CNA. I mean, like new CNA. They don't, you know, it's having experience is a plus. They don't necessarily need you to have experience. All they do is need you to come to work. They want to make sure you're, you're reliable. They want to make sure you're coming to work. And they want to make sure that you uh, can do the job. But you'll get trained to do the job two weeks, two months, depending on what you need, like you can learn to do the job and it's not hard at all, at all. But I came up here to be, give you specific, specific, specific ideas of what you need to do after you obtain your CNA. So again, you're in, your, in the registry, you got your license, a license, I'm sorry, not license, certification number. Um, you get your certification number, get your resume together and start applying Apply to um, every hospital uh, in your area that you're willing to travel to. Apply to one unit, two units, three units. When you get an interview with them, the recruiter is for the hospital so they can know what other units are available. Hey, I when I had my interview for one unit, they gave they said, oh, um, they gave me an option like, oh, we have multiple units. Like, you know, we have this unit hiring, this unit hiring, this unit hiring. Which one do you want to work at? And for some reason, I chose neurology. I don't know why. Don't know why. That was two and a half years ago, and I still don't know why. But I chose it. 
And um, I just know that there's options out there. There's still options. I still go on to work, call these units, and they're understaffed. They don't have enough staff. Staff is calling out. They have people quit. It's a high turnover job. Being a CNA is a high, turn high turnover job. Being in healthcare is a high turnover job, unless you're a nurse. And even then, it's still high turnover because of all the opportunities that you are having access to once you obtain your nursing license. So I want y'all to very much do your due diligence and legwork when it comes to looking for a job. And comment below if you're still struggling. Uh, I've been, like I said, I've been personally trying to help some people find jobs. Um, and I feel like I'll be able to continue to do that if need be. Personal questions below. Video ideas for questions also below because the same question you might have, other people might have too. Another shorter video, but I definitely wanted to come up here and give you that reminder. I don't make short form content, so it's only going to be in the form of long term content. And it's probably going to seem like I'm ranting, but I'm just reiterating what I already said in multiple videos. Don't settle for these nursing homes. Don't settle for these sniffs. Don't settle for home health. If you don't want to work at home health, hospitals where you're going to learn the most. You might not get paid the best, but you're going to learn the most. And for those that want to be RNs and going to nursing school after, that's going to be the best best place to learn um, because you get that you have access to see so much. Bedside procedures, sterile procedures, uh, vitals being taken on a more consistent basis, introducing things like EPIC, uh, electronic health record or electronic medical record for you guys. Um, it's available. It's available. So that's all I got for you on this video, and I will see you on the next one. Comment below anything you want to ask, and I'll make sure to make a video about it. I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm not doing a all right, all right, all right again. I'm just saying peace.